Salut. In three, two, one, we are back with another episode. How are you doing today? I see you. Aces. I see uh, we're matching. <laughs> Kindred spirits, my friend. Kindred Always. spirits. Always. Pondering <laughs> ponytail for life. Absolutely. Um, so listen, yeah. I'm here to ask you very contentious and preferential questions oh, right. that people have debated over millennia. Millennia? Okay. Are not you ready? Sure, not sure my knowledge goes that far back, but we'll try. It does. It I does. know. Oh, it does. I okay. know. Okay. All right. First one. Go on. Apples or oranges? Apples, obviously. I mean, there's nothing obvious about it, but okay. <laughs> Next one. Okay. Breast or thigh? Depends on the cup size. Okay. Of the male breast. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Okay. Pepsi or Coke? Quick. Quick. Mecca Cola. All right. <laughs> All right, listen. How about try this? You want me to fill easy, it's easier it's a one. Shot. Okay, easier one. Go on. Cristiano or Messi? Actually, forget it. Let me Glenn Hoddle. Glenn Hoddle. Let me ask you the most contentious question of all. All right. Okay. And the essence of why we're here today. All right. Goodfellas or casino. Now I know. Now I know that you prefer casino over Goodfellas, which is some would say crazy tantamount to blaspheming absolutely because for me goodfellas i know i know, i know it's maybe maybe my favorite movie of all time it's definitely in my top five but casino is not even in my top ten look look let me just i need to just to quote paul cicero yes please do okay. played by paul Sorvino. what a guy in goodfellas that is right your opening statement there's only one way to uh refute it yes by quoting the great man. <laughs> you're wild. You're crazy. you got to calm down. Okay? I know what to say to you, especially to you. I'm going to make my argument, and everything's going to be beautiful. And then, you're going to go home. Okay? Beautiful. There's no other way. There's no other way. Fair enough. All right? Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. But listen, we're here to debate the fact that you think Casino is better than Goodfellas. Now, I think Goodfellas is a more complete film. It has a greater narrative arc. And Casino, for me, is nothing more than Goodfellas in Vegas. Okay? So I want to hear why you think Casino, and, and the onus is on you, because I think majority of people out there agree with me that Goodfellas is far better than Casino. So in effect, you're basically challenging me to... Um, well, you're the one who prefers it. I agree. Okay. okay. I am not going to, I'm not going to dispute, and I'm going to concede to you that film audiences around the world, that critics alike, Rotten Tomatoes, all those other platforms do consider Goodfellas a superior film, Scorsese's masterpiece, almost undoubtedly Scorsese's masterpiece. Well, <clears throat> hard to say. Scorsese has a lot of different. The films. Irishman. I know what you're going. There. No, you're not the, the Irishman. Irishman. No. Okay. Listen, I understand. I, mean, I understand listen, your how are you going to compare? Irishman. How are you going to compare like Kundun to like King of Comedy, hmm. Age of Innocence? You know what I mean? These are very different, very amazing films. All of them. Now, yes, maybe Goodfellas is the pinnacle. It's the peak. It's the Everest. Yeah. But you know, King of Comedy, arguably his better film. Do you know what I mean? A show for another time. All right, fine. But, yes, it's up there. They're all up there. However, when it comes to comparing those two, because they're quite similar, when was Goodfellas made? 1990. And when was Casino made? 1995. Exactly. So, kind of similar ideas, you know, close in time to each other, which Correct. is actually one of the things I think works against Casino. I, I, I think agree. I think if there was a longer okay. uh, time span in between when Goodfellas made and when Casino was made, then maybe Casino would be considered even better than it is now. Well, what if you were watching them both for the first time, back to back? Well, fine. We'll leave that to the end. But no, I have a better kind of point to make on that. All right. We'll come to that. I, but first of all, tell me why you generally think Casino is better. Okay, listen, even though I consider the, 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 the point you make that... Um, that Goodfellas is Scorsese's Sistine Chapel, right? And the casino is a bit, of a, why. A bit of a do over. Yeah, yes, exactly. A bit of a That's exactly. You took the words right out of my mouth. For me, because I hadn't said it yet. Well, thank you. <laughs> you asked me to articulate, <laughs> but go on. Goodfellas, a casino is a do over of Goodfellas. You know, directors are out there. They make a film, it's amazing, but they think to themselves, because, you know, I'm, I, I dabble in the filmmaking bit. Okay. Oh, what if I had just done that differently? What if I had a bigger budget? What if I had like used this sort of camera here and that tracking shot there? So I think that's what went through his head with Casino. You know what I mean? So, while yes, he tried to make it maybe bigger and, 
and better and like more grandiose, it still doesn't live up to Goodfellas because ultimately Goodfellas is the original. Okay, Goodfellas is the original. And that's what resonates with people more. But what I, the way I view Casino, yes. and I actually did watch them quite, uh, I didn't watch them actually far apart from okay, each other. Okay. okay? <clears throat> and we know these films back to front. I consider Casino to be essentially a turbocharged, steroid, human growth hormone induced version of Goodfellas, right? Pumped full of like... Pump it! Testosterone. Testosterone. Right? Fed into the microwave. Oh, yeah. Shook up in the blender and served to you. Fine. But does and, that and make it better? I think it does. Okay. Because okay. I think that, I think that, um, well, well, we'll go into them one by one, right? But that's, that's how I interpret fine, Casino. Fine, fine, fine. Would you dispute that point? Listen, it's bigger, it's more brash, it's more grandiose, as I said. Glitzier. Yeah, but it's not better. And I think, actually, those things that you kind of admire work against it a little bit. Now, listen, why don't we kick off with one You're thing? You're wild. <laughs> why don't we kick off with one thing? Because there's no other way. Casino is a better movie. There's no other way. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> let, me, let me kick off with this. Let's kick off with the protagonist, okay? On okay. one hand, we have Henry Hill, played by Ray Liotta, okay? Okay. Again, I would say a far more complex and complete character right we see him go through stages of life and this is what i think makes him better than your boy sam is rothstein played by robert de niro based on real life uh sports handicapper casino manager lefty rosenthal incidentally that's an important point an important footnote for our 250 strong subscribers and growing Sure. That both these uh, films are based on source material, source material written by Nick Pelleggi, okay, Wise Guy, which was the Henry Hill story, and Casino, which is the you know Lefty okay. Rosenthal, Sam Ace Rothstein story. Now let me tell you why I think it's more complete, Henry Hill, because Henry Hill, I mean, apart from going through this massive narrative narrative arc highs you know working his way up to this peak and then crashing to the low okay. we also see him as a kid as a child yes when he's still innocent right okay. when he hasn't been corrupted yet by the mob and that sense of innocence lost i think works towards making henry hill and the film a more complete complete kind of product you okay. know a complete like uh, you know artistic endeavor okay so what you're saying is we the don't have that with Casino. Arc. We don't have that with Ross. The story. The we don't have that at all. There's no arc as big as Henry Hill's. You're saying that the, the you're saying that the prism through which prism Goodfellas Good 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 is told, mm -hmm. which is through the eyes and the experiences of Henry Hill. Yes, and it's just more powerful, more yeah. uh, intense. And by the way, uh, more aspirational. The, abs absolutely. More, uh, and I think that plays to the whole film. I, I'd say the whole film is even more complete. <laughs> This rise and fall happens with all of these characters. How long is Casino? A shade under three hours. Okay, around three hours. And I think uh, Goodfellas is about 45 minutes yeah, shorter, shorter than that. Maybe, yeah. And again, I think that plays into Goodfellas' favor because, you know, it's on the beat. It's pacier. It's like, you know, there's no fat that needs to be trimmed. You know, it's just bang, 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 bang. You know, and it's constantly being driven forward driven forward driven forward a lot of casino there's a lot of meandering there right a lot of the same things happen over and over again and this guy i mean okay, this okay. guy prove me this wrong. guy prove me wrong <laughs> all right prove listen i've watched both films and i've watched them recently okay and i'm only going to just have to i have to paraphrase what sam is rothstein the protagonist of casino says and this is actually very very topical because when you watch them you realize one thing you know what you're watching the players are trying to take down the casino, right? Yeah. So the dealers are watching the players. Right. Right. And the pit bosses. The box men yeah. are watching the dealers. Yeah. The floor men are watching the box men, right? The pit bosses are watching the floor men. Okay. The you shift just, bosses are watching right, the right. pit bosses. You know what? You know what? The casino manager is watching the shift bosses. I'm watching the casino manager and the eye in the sky is watching us all. And I am watching both Goodfellas and Casino. And I'm here to tell you that the point you just made is blasphemous. By the way. Because Casino the is the more turbocharged film, yes. okay? And I think it is a, an exceptional, almost unmatched expose of the American dream gone wrong 
by ravenous, gluttonous, what you, greedy okay. men and women. What you just did there, as eloquent as your silo soliloquy was, yes. it like went on a bit too long. Just like Casino does. <laughs> kind of bores the audience a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Let's move on I practiced that a lot, by the way. Uh, yes, I, well, we can tell. Uh, anyway, let's did I rush on. it? Did I feel like I rushed it? No, 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 no. You didn't rush Ocean's Eleven. We, another film based in Las Vegas. Very good. That's great. A that's great, great movie. Shall we just list films that are based in Vegas now? We can do. Okay, that's great. Rain Man for a bit. Okay. Hangover. All right, all right. Thank well, you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so listen. Yeah. We'll agree to disagree on this point. No, 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 no. I'm agreeing with you on the point about Henry Hill the Henry, being better. The Henry okay. Hill, char Henry Fine. Hill character Thank you. Thank you. is Thank uh, you. more aspirational, yes. is more likable, yes. and his story arc is more... I mean, at the, I mean, end, the, the end of the film, he's done. He's finished. Yeah. He went through all of this shit, and he like rose to the top. But at the end, what was he doing? I'll tell you what he's doing. Tell I'll me. I'll tell you what he's doing. He goes into witness protection. You know what he says? The big downside of going to witness protection... Mm -hmm. He ordered uh, spaghetti and marinara sauce and he got ketchup or egg noodles and ketchup. He gets to live the rest of his life like a regular schnook. Wasn't it something like that? Yeah. Spot on. <laughs> Spot on. What happens to Sam Ace Rossi? He goes back to what he was doing at the beginning of the film. That's and irrelevant. And he's still living good. That is irrelevant. And he's still living okay. It doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? It's but I'm just irrelevant. saying the arc. The arc. The arc. The arc of the protagonist. The arc of the covenant. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, very good. Fine, okay. Good. Okay. okay. Fine. All right. The Henry, so, okay. Hill, the, the, the Henry Hill character. Yeah. The central character of the yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I agree is a more all right likable thank a you more quotable all a more right. aspirational okay. character while we're on the topic of characters yes. let's move on to some of the other ones and i don't want to talk about the other leads i don't want to talk about sharon stone yet or pesci or de niro and goodfellas i just want to talk about these side characters okay because i think that's a big plus for goodfellas you know go on if you remember the scene in that club i forget what it's called uh, but you know when you meet uh, Nicky Eyes and Jimmy Two Times, gotta get the papers, get the papers. And you stacks. Know, and stacks you meet, and Maury's wigs you meet, and the and the club owner that you meet, and all of these little side characters. And Paulie's number two, what's his name? I can't remember. But all of these little side characters. Bad note taking. You don't remember. Paulie's. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Point it out for the audience, why don't you? We're supposed to be no so, more research. So much for your little pinky, freaking. Anyway, so this is what I'm saying. Those little characters. Like, you want to, like, kind of know everything about them. Yeah. I want to know why Jimmy Two Times says everything two times. I want to know about, oh, I want to know about Billy Bats. Yes. And the Shinebox story. <laughs> you know, these little, like, little... You, should, you shouldn't want to know about that because you are the doppelganger of Billy Bats, a.k.a. Frankie Marino in Casino, played by the late, great Frank Vincent. I mean, look at that face. Look at that face. I hope you have a still... To, uh, so I've to, been told. To, to, to Listen, put a hey, I take it. that as a compliment. It's anyway. a massive compliment. Great hairline, Frank Vincent, as well. To you, Mr. Cheers. Vincent. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Anyway, so I think those little side characters are far more memorable uh, than anything that Casino has. Who I'll go get Casino your have? fucking shine box. Exactly. Sorry, Who does on. Casino have? Nobody like that. Nobody that you want to know more about. Like, why did Stax get stoned and the Lufthansa heist go to crap because of him? Do you know what I mean? Why did they even have to take out Stax? Do you because, know because he butchered the Lufthansa job. Well, that's what we think. But do we know? You're going to be late for your own funeral. Oh, no. Is that Frankie Carboni? No, it's Stax. Okay, so this okay. is another, I think, another plus in favor of Goodfellas. And his retort. To, the, to the, the, the minor characters? Yes. No. I concede that point to you as well. Okay. All right. Let's move on to some of the more major characters. There we okay? go. There we go. Okay. All right. So we have... On the Goodfellas side, we have Lorraine Brocco, who plays Karen. Correct. Henry Hill's wife. Correct. We have Robert De Niro, we have Joe Pesci, and we have Paul Servino. Correct. But let's stick to the two, his sidekicks, and maybe Karen as well, De Niro and Pesci. Now, Pesci kind of plays the same character in both. Turbocharging Casino, but go on. Yep. Yeah. Yes, agreed. I think, yeah, I mean, but it's hard to distinguish the two because, you know, with both those characters, Tommy DeVito and what's he called? Uh, Nicky Santoro. Nicky Santoro. You have this explosive character who can just pop at any yes. time. We're always flirting with violence. We don't know if he's joking, hey, and we'll get to the clown scene in a bit, or he's not. But we know that he can go off like a bomb at any time. Correct. And he's a dangerous, dangerous human being. And I... And in your film, he's far more violent. He That's is. for sure. He in is. Casino, he's go, goes, he has the, that, the pen scene, the vice scene, all of those crazy scenes. He's also, I think... Okay, so you're seeing his, his performance for which he won an Oscar. Yes. Okay, for Goodfellas. Yes. 
You're saying that his performance in Goodfellas is superior to his performance in Casino? I would say it's kind of similar. So you're saying it's a, it's a dead heat? I say it's, yeah, they're But you're going to give the edge to him in Goodfellas because it, it came before. <sighs> I don't know. I think no. I think on that one we're level. You think on that one we're level? Yeah. I'd like to present Although, a more... although... Yeah. And then we'll get to the clown scene. That scene maybe gives Pesci in Goodfellas the nod. Okay, well, I will have to say yes. that as the plot evolves in Casino, mm -hmm. what you see, what you learn about how despicable the character is, he's a more despicable character in Casino. And I think for that reason, the, the performance is more nuanced. Yeah. Okay, the betrayal at the end. Fine. The, the, uh, yes, the loss of control. Despicable. You're the, right. The, the loss of control. I mean, let's be honest. Listen. He, he ain't a good fella in Casino. Hey, hey. Right? I mean... Yes. Stop stealing my jokes. No bros before hoes. Please. <laughs> yeah. Please. Please. Yeah. Please. Okay. All right. No, here's what I'm saying. Um, do you feel bad for him at the end of Casino when he gets his comeuppance? Not at all. Exactly. But in Goodfellas, you kind of do, you right? You do. You do. You do. You're like, oh, if only, if only he didn't, if only he like stayed away from Billy Bats and didn't beat the crap out of him and kill okay. him. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay. They could have got away with it all. It could have been happy ever after. But just in that moment. He snaps. But just because you like him more, does that mean... No, 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 no. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. On the contrary, I think the fact that they're both despicable... Yes. I mean, if you want him to get taken uh -huh. down, uh -huh. and incidentally, the comeuppance he receives yes. in the casino yes. is one of the most brutal, violent... Sure. Um, ...servings of justice... Fine. Right. Um, there ever has been... Has this ever been showcased? Dished out by Frank Vincent himself. <laughs> Absolutely. What a guy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a torturous scene. Yes, fine. Okay? Okay. Cold-blooded and visceral okay. and dis and horrendous. So, and and, and 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 I'm just want to say, like, and it, it, in effect, fitting for you know the, the crimes and misdemeanors yes, that he fine, committed fine. throughout yes. the film's narrative. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine. Far more violent in your film. Far more of a piece of crap in Casino than he is in Goodfellas. Fine, but generally same sort of character. Generally same sort Soft of character, story. but as I said, as yeah. I said, when you have to think about that, if 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 Casino had preceded it, yeah. we'd be talking about Precious performance in Casino as having been probably the more superior. So, but in any case, Please. I think, I think you have to give me the slight nod on Pesci in Casino. Fine, I'll do nod. that. I will do that. Okay, I'll do you. that. I will do that. Now, um, let's move on to Female. females. Okay. okay, so we have Lorraine Brocco, Karen, who I think is amazing in that film. However. Sharon Stone is far more an integral part of Casino. In fact, that opening scene when we first see Ginger at the crafts table, yeah. you know, throwing the dice, every, like center of attention, chips in the air, I think that's one of the best introductory scenes of any character ever because she doesn't even say a word. Skimming and scamming uh, what appeared to be... Um an Arab sheikh was some some good for her. Good for her. <laughs> but the thing is, she get lost, she, Ginger. Get lost. You, she doesn't say a word, and yet, yet, he falls in love. Right. You know there. exactly everything about her. Yeah. You know everything about that character. Yeah. So yes, she's kind of larger than life. In fact, she maybe is the equivalent to the Ray Liotta character. You know what I mean? No, but she has no morals. No, no, <laughs> and she's unlikable. Also, dislikable. Apart from you, who likes her very much. I love film. her so much. All right, Sharon, if you're watching. Oh, here we go. The Please. shout outs. The shout outs. The shout okay, outs. but the thing is, also Lorraine Brocco, Karen. I think it's very. She plays her part very well. And in fact, one scene, if I may, yeah, you point may. out to, is the scene where she's uh, Henry Hill wakes up. You have Karen pointing the gun over his head. Yeah. Okay, and that scene, okay, you find it, you know, he gets pissed off. It is a bit of like kind of abuse there, domestic abuse. He walks out, he laughs at her, blah, blah, blah. But she's pissed off because, you know, he's been cheating on her. She's found out. But what's so striking about that and metaphoric, uh, uh, metaphorical about that scene okay. is the fact that she's pointing a gun to this guy's head and this guy being part of the mob has guns being pointed at him all the time. And I love the just the symbolism of that scene. Anyway, I digress. Let's move on. I wait. I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't uh, support the Sharon Stone argument. You did sufficiently. Okay, enough. fine. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. I think it is the most um, extraordinary uh, performance 
of like a gangster's mole on film that's ever been seen like the femme fatale she captured it in its all its like vulnerability and beauty and seductiveness all of it it is one of the most amazing performances ever because you know how do you feel about her throughout the movie? She's stunning. She's sexy. She's a seductress. I'm not she's nice. Although taken. at the same time, yeah. At the same time, she has this affection for this low life pimp played by James Woods. Yeah. Exceptionally well played by James Woods as the most sleazy, it's filthy, funny. despicable, and maybe, and maybe most this contemptuous. Is, actually, you know what? Now that you're talking, character ever. Yes. The idea that like you agree the casino's better. Yeah, I, I, no, I no, see no, in your no, eyes. No, 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 no. The, the reason why casino's worse. You're crazy. No, you know why I say this? Because <laughs> there's so many more unlikable characters. Yeah, sure. Maybe that's why casino is not. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of other reasons as well. But that could be one of the reasons as well why people don't kind of attach themselves to casino as much because you got Sharon Stone. Nobody likes it. James Wood. Nicky Santoro, Joe Pesci, like then, yeah. apart from De Niro, who's even, even he's not that I, like, you know, you're not enamored by him, it, he's not that affable. Because he's not that cool, no. he's not playing a cool no, no, De Niro no, 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 character. No, no. Okay. Apart from his suits, by the way. Amazing, by the way. I, I bought many, many By the way, so imitation. over the top. Again, really over the top. I mean, do we know if this guy wore these suits in we real do. life? We do, I have done the research, and, and he wore similar type suits. Nothing, nothing that over the top. Things like, uh, what's it called, chartreuse color turquoise the, yes all the all the, the, all the pinks, lovely pastels. the reds you know what he was doing I think before it's time he was taking the Miami Vice dress down wardrobe uh, but, yes. but 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 exercising it and and rocking it formally uh -huh, uh -huh, you didn't uh -huh, think uh -huh. about that huh? no 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 okay okay, okay fine okay. fine so uh, it's getting a bit crazy in the pub all right so listen what have we got next so okay Sharon Stone is for you I'll give you Sharon Stone you give me better. the edge on you give me this I'll give you the edge the edge I'll give you Pesci a little I mean, bit and I Sharon think Stone no, I think Pesci bit. both of them quite similar in some ways I don't know it's it's a dead heat for me okay okay um, let's move on to this and that is legacy I would say oh unless there's anything else you want to talk about well I actually think that another thing that I think is very interesting yes in the storytelling of casino and there's mm -hmm. probably a bit of that in Goodfellas as well yeah but it's it's and uh, Scorsese is a master of juxtaposition yes and I love the juxtaposition between in, in the relationship uh, between the De Niro character and the Sharon Stone character because he's this odds maker sports handicapper in control plays the odds on everything and then essentially throws it all up the chance on marrying this hooker who actually warns him about you know not taking the plunge that she does have okay. deceit in her okay, and, so okay, and, so okay. and it's that juxtaposition and, and I love the fact that it's order, order, almost like a um, a symbol or um a metaphor for the film on a wider scale that you have this incredible incredible glitzy glamorous uh what do you call it uh, expose of vegas with all the lights and all the shimmering and all the glitz and the glamour and yet on the outskirts you have the desert with all the your bodies buried you know it's a very interesting fine kind but of does contrast. it make it better than goodfellas i think it's just an interesting fine of course footnote, there's a interesting lot of side notes. interesting footnotes for both films but well, you know, so I think I made that point very eloquently. You did, you did. Okay. And again, meandering, much like Casino itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we so talked about James Woods. We talked okay, about okay, 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 okay. We don't. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, we talk le legacy. Okay, um, you know what? Let's talk about this. Go on. Let's talk about music. Okay. Important to both films. Very important. Talk to me about the music in Casino. I think that I know where you're going to go here. Uh, I think can it's you, a, it's almost a dead heat. Okay, you don't know where I'm going to go. Great, great. You don't know where I'm going to go. Great, great musical accompaniment throughout the movie. Uh, yeah. Throughout both movies. Yes. In Casino. Please. Muddy Waters, B.B. King, Fleetwood okay. Mac. All right. Right. And How do they add to the story? In all sorts of ways. You want me to pick, pick one song in particular? I mean, does it drive the plot forward, any of the songs? Do they, like, parallel anything? Because, you know, you can, every, every, every movie can just have good songs. Do you know what I mean? There isn't, there isn't. Allow me to demonstrate what I mean. Go on. Okay. So, when we see Henry Hill in his younger days, when he's a kid, when he utters that famous line, as far back as I can remember, all I've ever wanted to be is a YouTuber. A gangster, all right? As far That's what he meant, a YouTuber, yeah. <laughs> That's just me. Anyway. Um, you are. <laughs> anyway, so. I'm never going to so, get tired of saying that, by the, the way. Do you remember that scene where he, like, you know, helps, like, you know, petrol bomb all those cars yes 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 and then he runs away and boom it freezes what song comes in the little i go from, from rags, rags to riches. riches i think that's right it better be <laughs> 
maybe it's not. But anyway, during that time period, somehow that song comes up, and that's kind of foreshadowing what's coming in for the rest of the film. Rags to riches. So that needle drop is excellent. And then, of course, let's not get into Derek and the Dominoes, Layla, Eric Clapton, that riff sample in the middle when you see all the wise guys had been whacked. I mean, when you hear that, you know, part of that song, do you not always think a good Yeah, place? okay, that's a good chat. That's a good point. Do you know point. what I mean? That's a good point. That's, that's how good... much that song, Layla, is synonymous with that film that you can't help but just always think of that scene where they're tumbling out of their bloody garbage truck and, you know, find them dead in the freezer. All of those Frankie th- Carboni. Carboni, gray hair. <laughs> and almost, you know, for, left the coffee behind, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. So Make that coffee to go. I'm joking, <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> exactly. So I don't think Casino has anything like as synonymous and as, you know, kind of memorable as that. No, although a great, great, a great, great... Um, uh, what's it called dropping of you can go your own way a great song no doubt about go it go your own that's way a great song that's for sure okay that's, that's a great song sure. do you remember when that they played that when he gets into the car and they're trying to like evade because the whole all their houses are bugged and Ginger's oh, going yes. off the rails and he's like and he's like Ginger called me yeah so I just told you she called me yeah. and then what'd she say she's afraid to talk to you she's <laughs> gonna come back and you're gonna whack her yeah. yeah, she took my kid. I know when you call me. This is this is this is family. It ain't business. That's good. That is. I'm good. not saying it's up there with Lady. No, 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 that, that, that is good. That is very, very good. That is very good. That is absolutely. And you know what I like as well? When they're like, "Thrill is gone," the BB King one. Yeah. When Ginger and Nicky are about to have their affair. Fine. That's a good. But I understand there isn't the same kind of crescendo build up. Yes. As there is in Goodfellas. Yes. By the way, another shout out to Goodfellas. So I'm weakening my argument here. Go ahead. This thing. Come here, you! Come here, <laughs> Frosty the Snowman! <laughs> when, when, after yes, he started, yes. you're a genius! You're a genius! <laughs> yo, yo! And then, you remember yeah. what happens there? That's another, yes. that's a great scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should talk about some key scenes, and I'm just gonna just. Give me, give me, give me some key scenes. Just, that's a key scene. No, no, give me some key scenes. The, the, the Christmas scene. party. No, no, hold on, wait. Let me just because I just, uh, I just love uh, that scene uh, in Goodfellas. Yeah. Come here, you. Because, <laughs> like, because what happens is, is that uh, in they the just made all their money in the preceding yeah. scene. Uh, Henry's in the shower, yeah. and he turns on the radio, and he's like, ah! "Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy!" <laughs> they they yeah. knocked over the, the yeah. stanza several yeah. million. And the next scene is, "Come here, yo!" Come that's here, a great, that's a great edit. And then obviously, and, and then obviously, when um, when the when the uh, you know the uh, what do you call it the capos yes uh, the capos come in through the, the goombas, the, the goombas <laughs> and one of them is like wearing like. A mi- yeah, a yeah, 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 the other yeah. one is just bought yeah. a new like and auto and by the way you make me think of something yeah. there actually so after doing? that what's the matter with you exactly what's the matter with so you so then so then hey, Jimmy the gent so, sorry, uh, sorry Jimmy <laughs> what the fuck's the matter with you? what'd you say <laughs> what'd you say you're gonna be a wise guy with me and by the way incidentally <laughs> so much of the De Niro idiosyncrasies that yes. you think of today yes right so come many from there. come from that Absolutely. film and I agree with you Absolutely. like the, the whole like you know this. The, the thing that's always mimicking parody. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, you're right. Absolutely. Go, you know. Come, What's the matter with you? Or this? Or this? Or this? <laughs> hey, you tell them a little bit. No, no, no. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Drink some. Drink, drink some. <laughs> on the house. The hoof. The you, hoof. You need to buy a drink from the me. Hoof. Yo, the hoof. The hoof. 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 One dog goes one way, one dog goes the other. Way. Yeah, what's the matter? One dog does this. Looks like a guy we know. You know what we're talking about. But no, listen. I think, anyway, going back to what you were talking about, how like Jimmy the Gent kind of starts to turn, gets paranoid, starts having everybody whacked. Here's another thing about Goodfellas. As you were saying earlier, mm-hmm. these guys are good fellas. I mean, it's a bit ironic because they're really scum of the earth. They they're are. really violent, mean, mm-hmm. unscrupulous people, right? <laughs> yeah. Too many beers. <laughs> okay. And Jimmy the Gent personifies this very well. His turn, because when we first meet them, smiling, charming, yeah. nice guy to everyone, oh, tipping I everybody, yeah, yeah, blah, yeah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But we see him start to turn ugly especially in that scene with billy bats when they beat the shit out of billy bats and you see him stomping on billy bats face. face and then you know he starts getting ugly he gets paranoid after the Lufthansa yeah, yeah, yeah. has everybody whacked oh by the way and then yeah. hold on the best scene which is quite scary but very subtle is that scene at the end with karen where he i think nobody knows but i think he wants to have karen whack yeah and he's like oh karen go there's some clothes there and he does that thing yeah. with his hand yeah. he's like 
Jump, Sorry, jump, Jimmy. Jump, jump. So I gotta go. Yeah, and she's like freaking yeah, out. Yeah, that's great. I mean, that transition. I mean, and we have it. We, we don't really know if he's if that's exactly, what, if that's exactly. What he's but that's I think what makes it so frightening as well. Do you know what I mean? And another, yeah. And yeah. so, so yeah, so that as well. And then obviously you have the same thing with uh, Tommy DeVito, uh, Joe Pesci, who at any single moment you don't know if he's gonna fucking kill everybody or you know there's that scene with spider and obviously there's the clown scene which i will get to hold there, on there's to also hat. another amazing scene that's by the his way. nail in the coffin that clown scene finishes this argument go ahead the clown from it go ahead <laughs> hey georgie all right can we just stick to the topic at hand so no the, the the other scene that you forgot to mention i don't know why i'm actually helping your argument is actually another great don't. music needle scene as oh yeah, okay it, fine is when Jimmy the Gent, De Niro character, has decided, like, these guys are going to have to get whacked. Yeah. When he's standing by the bar and Maury is, like, he's fed up of Maury. Yes. And he puts the cigarette and he's like... Yeah, exactly. Dan, 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 yeah. dan, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting near dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, he, yeah and it's yeah, a bit yeah, of a yeah. slow-mo and he puts yeah. the cigarette out. Yeah. You know, like, it's going through his head. All right, I'm going to take down all these, these exactly. mo mofos. Exactly, all right? exactly, exactly. Great, I'm helping your argument. Exactly. God damn it. Okay, what you okay. got? You got okay. anything? You I got, got anything? I got, I got something. We go talk, on, give me something. We're talking about key scenes? Yes, go on. We're going to talk about key scenes. All right, first of all, okay, the most... Continue, I need to check. Go. Where are you going? Just go. All right, first of all, the head in the vice scene, okay? Is there a more iconic death scene uh, in the 90s? Let's yes, be honest. there's plenty. I got your head in the vice. Tell, t t give me the name of your kind of man, I'm gonna snap your... Listen. I'm gonna snap your it's a great head like scene. a grapefruit. It's a great scene. Charlie but M? <laughs> Charlie M, you make me pop your head up for Charlie M! Okay, it's a <laughs> great scene. <laughs> okay. Listen, you this motherfucker, is, you! This is the thing. Now we're on the scenes. Let me just say one. Great scene. Great scene. Listen, Casino has a lot of great scenes. There's no doubt about Can it. Can I finish? Because I'm the one defending Casino here. The meetup in the desert. Fine. Come on. Fine. That is an amazing scene. Do you scene. know what? When De Niro's okay. standing there with okay. his big, big eight. I don't know what they are. What kind of sunglass model. We should have talked about that in the previous uh. episode. And you see, um, what do you call it? You see in the uh, sunglass reflection, yeah, uh, Pesci's car yes. drive up. That's yes. an amazing scene. Yes, that's been that's been. In fact, I think that is probably okay. the best scene. You like that and scene? the most influential scene the casino has. Obviously, that thing has been memed to death. Like, and if it wasn't for me, no, 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 no. Basically, <laughs> yeah. if it wasn't for me, every wise guy would take a shot at you. Yeah, exactly. Don't ever go over my head again, yeah, you yeah. motherfucker, yo. That's mainly the best scene, as well as the cornfield scene where you know. Nikki the, the gets de, it. The denouement. Exactly. And can but, I, okay. go on, go on, go on. I think as a, uh, as a scene just filled with like, uh, I can't even think of the adjectives, despicableness and um, disgust, yes. the sex scene in Casino, the affair scene when right. Ginger and, um, and Ginger and Nikki start kind of almost colluding that's maybe like the turning point but it's, it's the same way the billy bat scene uh, and the shine box scene is turning yeah yeah point. yeah, yeah. there is there is that's a, but, the equivalent but that that is such an amazing scene yeah and you know it's almost like the the uh the disloyalty and the the scumminess of both characters is on full display and it's such an effective scene and i i don't love it by the way because you know we are in woke culture so i'm going to be trying to be sensitive but the fact that like despite how much he wants her Right? Yeah. You'll never let her forget that she's a hooker. I mean, the, the way he treats her, the way he handles her, right? I mean, great scenes. It's a great scene. But, okay. the lasting scenes that to this day influence so much. Pen scene in the neck? In Goodfellas, not in Casino. No, none no. of these things, apart from the, your desert car scene. And, you know, blah, 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 if it wasn't for me. Apart from that, Goodfellas uh, Casino doesn't have much else going for it in terms of things that are remembered that are like uh, kind of uh, remade in their own guise and all these kind of things like let's just start with Goodfellas first of all let's go with the prison cooking scene amazing right amazing also great needle to drop amazing why don't you somewhere doo -doo 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 -doo. beyond the sea Somewhere, Somewhere out there for me. <laughs> anyway, yes, that and the garlic it would slicing. In the pan. I mean, it come would on. In the pan. I mean, it how many times system. exactly? How many times have we seen that? Have we heard that since? Let's not get into the 
tracking shot where Liotta and Karen, sorry, uh, let's say Henry Hill and Karen are walking into the club for the first time. And that, tra I mean, how many times, how much has that influenced other shots, other films, other popular media? So much, right? True. Extensive, extensive, true, true. extensive. The club and, scene is very good. I mean, I, that I, scene I, I alone admit. is like, you know, and then, the, you, you know, I know one you love is that helicopter scene where he's like looking out for the helicopter all the time. You know. Okay, I will say, and that that's that some of the the editing work as well. Yes, in Goodfellas. Oh, in that is, scene, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, you should tell. Yeah. Since, since Goodfellas is yeah, yeah, yeah your, no, listen, your, uh, I don't want to get into. I want to just talk about one scene, which kind of closes this argument. Okay, <laughs> and that is the infamous clown scene. Am oh, I a yeah, clown? Okay. Do I look funny okay, to you? Right, you guys okay, know okay, it all. Okay. I don't want to even okay. do it because pe plenty of people have done it better. Okay, I mean, maybe he can do it, but we'll leave that for now. Okay, but that scene alone, yes, yes, we've heard the lines a thousand times, but you know why that scene is so brilliant? Because Tell me. it tells you the whole story of that film in one scene. First of all, all the wise guys are there. Okay. Okay, looking sharp, looking slick, yep. bantering about, okay? We learn about how close to violence everything is because we're not sure. Are they joking? Are they not? Could it pop off at any time? Could everybody be dead in the next five minutes or not? And then he utters a line, Tommy DeVito. <laughs> you made falter under pressure, oh, yeah. Henry. And that tells you what's going to happen. Henry does falter under pressure. He gives them all up in the end of the film. That's true. Okay. You mean some, some foreshadowing, sir? Absolutely, absolutely. And great filmmakers have that. They have that one scene in the middle of the film that tells you the whole story of the film. And plus, look how influential it's been. Look how many people have parodied, parodied it, copied it, tried to do similar things, da 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 da. Whoa, 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 whoa. you're a big boy. <laughs> what do you mean I'm funny? What do you, what do you mean I'm funny? funny? You the think way I'm you tell the story is funny. Well, you mean like I amuse you? I'm a clown. I'm here to amuse you. No, Henry, he's a big boy. Okay, what do you? What the fuck is so funny about me? No, no, I don't mean no, 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 not like that. Like in the way you tell the story. No, no, I don't know. You said it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. You said it. Anyway, genius, genius. All that. You know what I love about his laugh when he smashes yeah. the pot yeah. over the over the the, the, the restaurant manager's head when he wants to be the middle. It's like you come over. Yeah. He's like, you want to hear something funny? Last week, this guy asked me to christen his kid. <laughs> and he's like, That's yeah, so you're funny. a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> So exactly, very good performance. <laughs> Oscar to you. So yes, that scene is like it. That scene is everything. Okay. That scene is like, you know, there's t-shirts made. You can find it on mugs. It's just such a perfect scene. Okay. I, and by the way, speaking of which, I yeah. love the way that Liotta laughs throughout the film when things are getting a bit oh. crazy and a bit hairy and a bit violent. He sort of like is embarrassed and he tries to laugh it off so the guy who's getting beaten the shit out of doesn't feel as bad. He's like, ah! Like with Maury's wigs. I try and mimic go it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Take off your glasses. Get, give, give the audience what they want. <laughs> <laughs> like that. You're exactly. a funny guy. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let me just make this point though in Casino's sure. defense, right? Casino is the ultimate Vegas film before. Let me just let me just conduct my soliloquy and then you will allow yourself to present a repost, okay? As much as any film that's ever been, this is a film about Vegas. And Vegas is a very important uh, a very important theme, okay? It's highly referenced. It's been used in loads of films, going way back to the basically like the gangster films of the fifties, you know, the rat pack and so on and so forth. Right, comedies have been made. Uh, you know, we we can go over and dramas have been made. Are you saying it's the greatest Vegas film? I think it's the greatest Vegas film. Not Viva Las Vegas with Elvis Presley. I've never seen that film. Well, you but should. No. Well, you absolutely Actually, should. Actually, the only thing I would no. say. No. Go on. It's the only thing I would say. What? The greatest Vegas film go is on. The Hangover. Okay. <laughs> and that's 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 a good good. Uh, what you call it? That's a good good uh, candidate. Fine. Okay. I, I'm not. But you know oh, what? Yeah. What? Hangover. Mimic the. Uh, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, desert, desert scene. scene, yeah. So ah, uh, you got me. Shout out ah, to Casino, by the way. You got me. Shout out fair to Casino. Enough, fair enough. And they also, fair by the way, they also maybe. Do you remember what? What other famous what? film they make? What Rain Man? Oh yes, Casino, of course. Yeah, oh, right. that's also in Vegas. Escalator scene. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, of course. So many films in Vegas. Okay, I mean, so, very much like New York. We should do like what are the cities that anyway? It's true. But would you, would you not do you not consider that you know we talked about this in like 
when we talked about heat yes. and how Los Angeles yes. is a principal yes. character in the narrative. Of course, would you not nine and a half weeks, all of those. Yes, New York, yes, yes, yes. Would you yes. not consider uh, it a main character? Would you in the not film? consider? Would you not consider? Yeah, no, I the do. City, You're right. The, the, the city, the, the, the Las Vegas, yes. to be more prominent, more of a character in the casino film than I guess New York is in Goodfellas. You're right. So no, that, that, absolutely. That's, that's, a, that's absolutely. a feather in because Casino's Goodfellas cap. can be set anywhere. anywhere. Could look like Baltimore. It could look like I don't know. Wisconsin yeah, could look yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. right. You're right. I'll give so you that one. That. Yes. No, that city is important. Here's the ultimate question. No, All right. Like, listen, it's up to you guys to decide what do you think is better. We'd love to hear your uh, uh, point of view <laughs> yes. uh, on the comments we've made. And don't forget, like, follow, subscribe, subscribe, yeah, subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and watch <laughs> and come. anyway no here's the thing here's how we put it now as i said earlier uh the films were made five years apart yeah goodfellas came out first yeah gives it an advantage it's got scorsese's fingerprints all over Definitely. it we learn his style which he then you know superimposes onto casino and heightens in the irishman by the way, if any of you out there like the Irishman, please tell us why. Because sing, we don't get it. Sing twice we don't about get it, it if you like, yeah. We don't get it. <laughs> anyway. I still remember how much you begged me to watch that with you during COVID. And how much I resisted, and thankfully. Yes, you wanted to watch Coming to America too. Yeah. But anyway. Do you regret that decision? I, I bet you do. Okay, fine. I regret that decision. Now, here's the thing. Here's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> what if, and it's a big what if. Yeah. Would it make any difference if Casino had come out first? That's a very, very good question. That's a very, very good question. Um, and you're saying that would Goodfellas suffer by kind of because I think subsequent I, association. I think there's a pro I think Casino suffers from the fact that a it was made quite close. You know, we we're still like on Goodfellas. Audiences are still yeah. you know uh, you know uh, trying to digest Goodfellas. Yeah. And then good uh, and then Casino comes out. You know. So if it was first of all, that's yes, a great. That's had a great it, had point. Had it come out first or if there was a, if, if there was a bigger gap between the two, would it be considered better? <clears throat> Maybe if it come out ten years after uh, Goodfellas, you know what I mean? Anyway, I think that's a very good point. I would say uh, I don't know. I need to think about that. I mean, I think that's a very for, very for good, everyone to think about. That's a very good point. So you're saying that Casino been made in 1990 and then Goodfellas the follow up. I suspect. I suspect. You would, you know, I suspect Goodfellas would have suffered the same fate that Casino does today. Yeah. Although, having said that, I still think Goodfellas is a more complete film. You know, I feel the arc is far, you know, the ups and downs are far greater. And while, yes, you have the glitz and the glam and it's ultra violent, I think still the characters in Goodfellas are more complex. Uh, and I just think the story is a little bit tighter, you know, and it just, the beats work a bit better, that, uh, and it just flows a little bit better. You know what? I think. As much as Sharon Stone replaces sort of Liotta, because otherwise the cast is generally the same. Yeah, that, that's Liotta yes. is very good at being driving the story forward, being likable, being this outside figure looking in on our behalf. Do you know what I mean? True. And I think that adds a lot to good. I, okay, here, but here's another here's another uh, another question for you. Yeah. <clears throat> I I think I think I know why. You love Goodfellas so much. It's because of the camaraderie of the characters, the dialogue, the yeah, banter. Yeah, the, they're yeah, they're yeah, Goodfellas. Yeah, 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 it's like boys will be boys yeah, kind exactly, of film. Exactly. I completely agree with you. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Isn't, there isn't that. It's the likability. It, it's the yeah, likability. Yes, I, I, I agree with you. And, yeah. and, and so many of the scenes yeah. of them together uh, exactly. in the restaurants, in their heists. So it's it's about like bro code, exactly. no question. And you don't have that in Casino. No. They all betray each other. Yeah. Although they do in Goodfellas as well. But somehow I agree with you that the camaraderie in Goodfellas is very, very strong. Like you really want to be part of that gang and that crew, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay, so Absolutely. I agree with you. And I think obviously the, 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 the lifestyle is more aspirational. How dare they betray poorly. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> uh, and, and, and I agree with this, more aspirational. However, in Casino, yes. what I think is, is that the characters are more despicable. Okay. Yes. But also, and so it's a it's a different kind of film in that sense. But you're drawn to that. No, 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 no. You're drawn <laughs> to the suits. What's in my heart? You're drawn to Sharon yeah, Stone. Yeah, all the, and that's what it comes down the to. The glossy veneer. And yeah, like exactly. Everything on the inside. You're just like the superficial. Yeah. Uh, you know the kind of surface. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but Blitz, this is glam. No, no, no. Tits, no but this boss, is it. Bang, bang, this, bang. This is it. This is it. <laughs> they're 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 dislikable. They're contemptible. And um, but I, I think the tension 
building up to the the denouement at the end okay is much more like on a knife edge denouement huh? denouement is that similar to croissant <laughs> It's de de derived from the same uh, language. Uh, right? uh, yeah. The etymology is the same. The, the Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but so I think I think when the fall yeah. happens, yes, it's more uh, tragic. No, and it's more like intense, and it's more like supercharged, and I think it's more like if it, it's more effective. Um, so, and I think that's what makes it more like powerful when all the dominoes come falling down. Again, we'll let the audience decide. Thank you very much. Give him the lines. How am I fucking funny? No. What the fuck is so funny about me? Fucking subscribe, yeah, all right? That's Subscribers, I'm gonna come to bust your head like a fucking grapefruit. I don't give a fuck about jail. That's what I do. We know what you do, you skim people out of money. <laughs>